So in this video I'm going to talk about um, well how to configure the layer 2 VPN and with layer 2 VPN you can basically connect VXLANs with each other across a whole layer 3 network or you can connect VLANs to each other or you can connect a VXLAN to a VLAN uh, or the other way around depending what you want. So with the VPN, uh, layer 2 VPN you have a server side which I have here which is my server side and a client side um, and well the goal is to have two networks that have the same subnet stretched that clients in that subnet can reach the other side so in order to do that we first configure the, 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 the layer 2 VPN server side and as I told you before I have different ESGs and my VPN 1 is my server side so um, let's go to layer 2 VPN well um, in order to make sure that this will work just show you directly I have configured SSL VPN plus which is at this moment enabled I believe you can see it's enabled here so if I go to SSL VPN and I enable this publish changes you will see an error here I cannot enable layer 2 VPN as SSL VPN services up and running so what do we do right now we just disable it I've created a question though regarding this it's in the community vmware.com and you can see that there's a well there's an answer here today I was busy with trying to test layer 2 VPN feature blah 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 doesn't work is there a way to get this simultaneously um, well somebody answered that layer 2 VPN used the same protocol oh, yeah that's what I thought as well um, I didn't test it though so maybe I can test it um, so you can use it on the same ESG so what we can do I guess is change the port and put it 8 in front of this here and hit disable and enable again and see what it does and well first before I'm going to actually hit enable I first want to show you that well I've selected the server here the global configurations I well had have a listener IP I have a listener port oh yeah here you see the port by the way 8443 which is the same as the so okay so um, encryption algorithm I left it at AS128 SHA and I'm going to use the default certificate so um, this is going to be the rest of the configuration of L2 VPN and as you can see here I've already done uh, I enabled the peer site I called it layer 2 VPN um, my user is also layer 2 VPN my password and uh, the, the confirmed password was also layer 2 VPN L2 VPN uh, right now it's blank but I already configured it and I stretched some interfaces so this is a very interesting uh, part here so um, if you don't have a trunk configured under your interfaces where you basically stretched the the, 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 the well the interface or the network that you want this won't work so before you can all set this up here you need to go to settings interfaces and you need to set up a trunk interface so here you will see a layer 2 VPN trunk interface so what I what I did here let's just create a new one and well that's it I need to create a new one let's just edit this one um, you see that the type here I set this to trunk okay so when you set it to trunk you can connect it to a well distributed port group and that distributed port group was uh, my distributed port group where I basically allow all VLANs so right now you will, you will not see it here but it's called PGME all VLANs so let's 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 find out uh, more about this distributed port group and you can see it here all VLANs and let's go to the summary 
and you can see that it's a trunk so it trunks all VLANs and um, yeah so let's go back to this here and you can see that I have made it a trunk and I can uh, create sub interfaces so this one of my sub interfaces is 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 going to the application uh, logical switch so this is the logical switch and well I can edit it here as well and you can see that I've assigned this IP address 192.168.12.200 which is in that logical switch network um, I've well I've assigned that IP address so the tunnel ID is 1 um, it's a network I've selected the logical switch app and that's it so I've created a sub interface with an IP address and well I've put it under the well trunk interface so let's it cancel right now so I've done this right now so I've created a sub interface in the trunk so I can create more sub interfaces here uh, if you want to stretch more networks of course well I will, will, won't do that right now so let's go back to the VPN setup and you can set, see here that my stretch interface is the two app and that's the one that I just showed you here which is also called two app so let's go back um, and show you the rest of the settings so this is the stretched interface and it will ask me okay what is the egress optimized gateway address well this is my local address so I will use this as my gateway this is the gateway and this is the IP address that I well configured in the two app sub interface so well, this is all you need to have on the server so let's go to the client on the client side where let's go back to drawing this is my client side here and as you can see here this has an own outside IP address or a IP address that's going to the physical network and that I created another logical switch LS app 2 and well I hanged this lab server app 3 where I connected that to that logical switch so let's verify that and let's go to the interfaces you will see a layer 2 trunk here as well basically the same story I created a sub interface here well I connected it first to a, to a VDS interface that allows me to well, trunk all VLANs and then a sub interface with an IP address um, let's see what that IP address is which is the 192.168.12.253 here and that's the, the IP address where this well lab uh, or app server is talking to or uses as its gateway um, and let's hit cancel you can see that this is pretty much the same but then the other way around on this side of the, of the, of the network and um, let's go back to VPN layer 2 VPN and you can see that I've configured as a client it's enabled here client enabled you can see that the, that my server address is well the other side you can see the ports that it's listening on so um, I changed the, the port of the SSL VPN so I didn't change the port of the layer 2 VPN so I can just leave this at default uh, you will see the encryption algorithm that I want to use the stretched interface etc etc so you can change these things all around here user ID that I've selected well it's just a local user ID that I that I uh, configured on the server with the password this is cancel um, as you can see here the tunnel status is well if I fetch it you'll see it's down so let's start the 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 the, the client uh, the server I mean let's go back and this is my server and it's disabled right now so let's enable it publish changes that still doesn't work so this solution here is well not working 
So let me. Um, I will. I will reply a little bit later to to that comment. Um, let me just, for the sake of all. Let me just disable the SSL VPN service here. Disable. Disable. And let's go back to VPN and enable here. Publish changes. And you can see that it's enabled here right now. So let's go back to the client. It's a little bit annoying to go back and forth here, but I could also open another window by the way, but uh, yeah, right now not. Let's hit fetch status. And when I did this the first time, you saw down, you still see down. Let's try it again. Maybe it takes some time. And you see up. And well, let's go back to the server again. And there's also a way to verify it on the server here. And this is the show layer 2 VPN statistics. And here you will see that the tunnel is up. And well, one way to test it, of course, is to bring up those two servers. So we have the app03 and we have the app01. So this is the app01. Let's open the console. You see I've done already a ping test. So the app03 is or has an IP address. 13 dot. Let me look up my drawing. Uh, sorry, 12.3. So and it was another IP address. 12.3. There you go. And I'm able to ping it. And let's go the, the other way. We need to have the app 03, which is here. Open console and let's ping the 13.1. And I used to have another problem. Oh, sorry, this is the wrong, uh, the wrong IP address that I'm pinging here. I need to have the 12th of one. As you can see, my drawing here, I'm trying to reach the 12 network. 12.1, there you go. And let's go back to the app one. Yeah, 12.3 and 12.1. And well, I can show you if I disable the client or disable the server or whatever site you want to disable. Let's just disable this site here. It's the server site. You saw that the app um, 3 and the app 1 were able to ping each other and right now I disabled it and well for the sake of testing if I ping it right now you can see it doesn't work and for the app 01 as well it doesn't work so I'll try to ping four times and it will eventually give me an error well four packets transmitted everything's lost here, kind of the same, for transmitted, everything's lost. Let's enable it again. Let's try it again. Probably won't work immediately. Yeah, there you go. Works again, and this side as well.